Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so as you can see from today's title, today's video is going to be a fun and different kind of video. I was kind of organizing my makeup the other day and I came across these two palettes, these two highlighter palettes, and this actually gave me the idea to create this video. They're actually these ones right here. It's from Sleek and this one from Technic. As you can see, they're literally identical. Seeing that, I was like, wow, dude, that looks like such an intense ass dupe from the original, which I think is the Sleek one. So I was thinking to myself, I'm like, wait, do I have any other products that have a dupe for them. And I'm not just talking duped, I'm talking about like almost where it looks blatantly copied. So I found three different products I wanted to test out on camera to see is the original product as good as the copied product. So I thought it would be a really fun idea to film. I've never seen a video like this before. I don't know, maybe someone else has done it. I have no idea. But I saw these products and I was like, wait, this looks literally like a blatant copy of the other. Who knows? Maybe it's not a copy. Maybe it's just a brand came out with it and it's a coincidence. I don't know. I'm not the brand. I have no idea. Also, do not forget, I have a giveaway going on on my channel right now. There's going to be two winners. The first prize winner will get a $500 gift card to Sephora. The second prize winner will be getting a $250 gift card to Sephora. And the only rules are to be subscribed to my channel. And yes, there are ways I can check if you are subscribed to me. So don't cheat the system. I'll leave everything linked down below. Like the time it's over and things like that. So yeah, let's go and get into this video. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. You know the fucking drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. But yeah, let's go and get to this testing makeup products that have been copied versus the other. I don't know. What, I don't know why I'm gonna tell this. <laughs> <laughs> so the first product I want to try out is the highlighting palette from both of these brands. I have the Technic one, Technic Technique. I don't know Strobe Kit, and I have the Sleek Solstice palette. As you can see, when you open them, bitch. In the sleek one, we have the lavender highlighter, the really pretty champagne one. We have this yellow gold, and we have a cream highlighter right here. Let's look at the other one in the other colors. Oh, what do you know? We have a lavender highlight, a peachy champagne one, a yellow gold, and we have that same lavender -y cream shade as well. We're going to test these out on our face. And what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be testing out specifically this shade right here. And the other one is going to be testing the same shade. So I'm going to swatch it right here. On my hand, I want you guys to see what it looks like. This is one of the most intense blinding ass highlights. I absolutely love it so much. Now let's watch the Technic one. Hmm. Right off the bat, the sleek one is so much more smooth, so much creamier feeling, has a little bit more of a peachy tone to it, and this one has a little bit more of a cool tone. We have sleek right here, and we have Technic right there. Sleek, which looks a little bit more blinding on my hand, for sure, more reflective and Technic right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on our face with the same style brush and see which one's better. Taking the sleek one right here. Ooh, I forgot how blinding this bitch was, shit. Hello, texture, how you doing though? And we have the sleek one on that is with two full layers. Now let's take the Technic one, same exact shade, same exact brush. We're gonna pile that one on. God, what if it's like really good? We'll see. Okay, my focus. Okay, um, okay, now we have both on. We have boom, sleek right here, Technic right there, Technique. I'm just gonna call it Technique because Technique sounds stealy. Sleek right here, blinding as fuck, Technique. Pretty fucking blinding as fuck, too. Hmm. I will say that the sleek one is a little bit more reflective, like a lot more white and like reflection to it. But the Technique one is also extremely, extremely brightening. I was shook. I did not expect this to be like good to be honest i can't even find the fucking price on this bitch i see like amazon selling it for like four bucks i don't even know personally i do like the sleek one more it's more intense more reflective more like pow but the technique one it worked but it's not as good as the sleek one i mean it is four bucks and the sleek one is 13. so for this one i will definitely say that the sleek one and the copy did not moving on to the next product we are going to be testing a blush out <laughs> so we have a product from Makeup Revolution or just Revolution Makeup, I guess. And this is from Too Faced. This is the Sweethearts Flush Blush. Let's bust these bitches out. Okay, I'm screaming. Like I'm fucking screaming. Do you see this shit? We have the Revolution Triple Baked Blusher Peachy Pink Kisses and the Too Faced Perfect Flush Blush in Peach Beach. Let's open them up. We have Too Faced right here. Boom. Beautiful. Stunting. What? I'm pretty sure Too Faced came out with this first. So we're gonna test both out on our faces. Oh my god, I can't even, I have to like look at the back to even see. Okay, we're gonna swatch the whole thing right here in our finger. Too Faced, we have this color. It's beautiful, beautiful peachy 
color. And we're gonna swatch the other one. Oh my God, that one feels really good and really pigmented. And the middle one right here, the Makeup Revolution one. Okay guys, so I just swatched it. We have right here, Makeup Revolution Peach and Too Faced Peach. The Makeup Revolution one is a lot more highlighty. Too Faced one is a lot more peachy. It's a lot more blush-like. So we're gonna be testing the original products on this side, taking a little blush brush right here in E4. And I'm gonna take the Too Faced blush, and we're gonna put that on this side of the face and see, that's a beautiful color. Come on, Too Faced, God damn, that's a good blush. So now we're gonna test the Makeup Revolution one, which is so much more highlighty. So weird, okay, whatever. As I'm packing into the Makeup Revolution one, this one is so much more powdery and so much more flaky, like there's a lot more like dust that picks up on that one. So. I basically just put highlight all over my face. Yes? Fuck no. Fuck no. Let's see if I can fix my face up with just, please brush away. Okay guys, the verdict, stick to the Too Faced one. It was actually a real blush. It went on beautifully. Revolution Triple Baked Blusher was literally like a highlight. All, it's like as if I put highlight all over my cheek. The whole thing was covered and so intense. It, was, it wasn't like a pretty intense. It was like a sitting on top of your face, gross intense. So the original one again, the dupe copy. Oof, I would not suggest this one. Unless you guys like a very intense, shiny blush topper, I would say go for this one. But if you guys want a normal blush that gives you like a really pretty satin lifelike finish, go with the Too Faced one for sure. Okay, we are down to our last product. So this is the last, but certainly, certainly not least, we have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and we have the Makeup Revolution or Revolution Makeup Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade Palette. Come the fuck on, girl. Shade and Light Eye, Light and Shade Eye over here. Same exact color scheme to a T. I died too because Kat Von D like posted on her Instagram about about this palette, seeing how it was a blatant copy and they were like writing her back and I just thought, I'm like, girl, you know what? You know how it is and like there's drama online and you're kind of like, where's my D? Or then this is D. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a really simple, easy eye look just to test out some of the shades in comparison. I've already used the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, the eye one. It's absolutely amazing. I think the shadows are so, so good and so creamy and so pigmented. It's just a great palette, honestly. It's a great, great everyday palette. So I'm assuming Makeup Revolution saw it and was like, I wanna make a great everyday palette too. Okay, I'm just gonna swatch a couple of these. I'm gonna just swatch the first three. Feels smooth actually, shockingly so. Got these right here. These are what the three top ones feel like. How does this even happen? I don't understand. So on the original side, we're gonna take a really pretty apricot shade, a little bit of this one and that one, just to kind of mix our own custom transition shade. There is literally no denying that Kevin D has some nice ass shadows for real. I just dunked in to the Revolution one. Okay, I already noticed that this one is so much more powdery. Okay, I'm a little shook, not gonna lie, because it went on. It went on pretty good, it definitely did the job. It blended, it deposited the color, even though it was a lot powderier, and it was so much more kickback, and it was a lot more intense. So now let's go ahead and just dip into this really pretty chocolatey shade right here with this R39 amazing, amazing brush for blending. So fucking pigmented. You guys, these shadows do not play. Nope. These are so much powderier and more, I don't stick to the brush as much, but let's see how it goes on the eye. Cause that's what matters. Okay, I noticed that the Kat Von D colors are much more rich in color and they last better. This one, it, when you blend, it like kind of blends away, though it does blend. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely, definitely blending. Okay, last step, I'm gonna pack on this white shade onto my lid. This is the Kat Von D one. That is so pigmented. Ooh. Now let's take the Makeup Revolution side. Same exact color. You guys, the Makeup Revolution palette though is so fucking chalky. So much just powder everywhere. Okay, so definitely the highlighty type shade on the lid is not nearly as good on the Makeup Revolution side as it is on the Kat Von D side. 
verdict on the Shade and Light versus the Light and Shade palette, I would definitely go with the Kat Von D Shade and Light eye palette over this one. Did the Revolution one work? It totally did. Like, honestly, it totally, totally worked. You can get definitely get the job done. It's just not nearly as pigmented and it's much more chalky than the Kat Von D one. This one's way better. It feels way sturdier. It comes with a mirror. The shades themselves blend easier. They're more pigmented. They're much more rich in color. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, guys, and that's it for the entire video. I hope you guys had fun watching. I had so much fun creating this weird dupe slash copied video. I thought it was so much fun to film. And who knows if the brand even really copied. I have no idea. It's allegedly. It just looks really copied to me, in my opinion. Or it could be a coincidence. Who knows? But to me, it looks like literally a duped identical product. If you guys have any other products that you guys have seen out in the market that have a definite copied makeup product dupe, let me know in the comments bar below and I'll definitely check it out. Don't forget to enter the Sephora gift card giveaway and some makeup if you guys want to. Of course, everything will be linked down below. Have a great Sunday night or day wherever you guys are and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Ready? Okay. Toros. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Stupid. Oh shit. What the fuck? Why? Poor Sito. Another one bites the dust. And I'm not. And I'm not. So take a look. Fuck me. Work with me here. Whew. God, that was rough. That was rough. Fuck me. Like, this is so Oh That are a make. That up with door. Thank <laughs> you.